This is my top down car logic tutorial. It's my first voiceover, so don't judge me on it. But, um, basically, what you just want to do is, uh, put your controller down on the car you're going to use and open up the microchip. And once you have it open, then you want to get an anti gravity tweaker. Set the zero buoyancy to 100% and the dampening I set mine to 40, so anywhere between 30 and like 50 is fine, but I have mine at 40. Then you want to get a mover and place it on the microchip and set the left right speed to zero and uh, press the d-pad right on the up and down speed uh, so it goes up positively and I put mine to 10 and I'll make your car go forward. And then for the reverse, I did it uh, half of it, so well halfway down. So to go, I put mine on negative five, and I'll make it go backwards. So then, hook up your accelerate button to the accelerate mover, and your reverse button to the decelerate or backwards mover, and close up your microchip. And I, mine was X and triangle. So, and then it goes forward and backward. Okay, so then you want it to be able to turn. So what you want to do for just basic turning is get an advanced rotator and place it on the microchip of the control animator. And then uh, set the rotation speed to whatever you want it. And then just take the left analog stick stick uh, output and collect, connect it to the input of the advanced rotator. Oh yeah, and then you have to set your movers, you have to check off the local space to yes on your movers, or else it won't turn, it won't move, uh, turning with it, like, I don't know, you have to test it out, it's hard to explain. Okay, so then it will work, and it, you can turn it and stuff, but cars, well, obviously real cars aren't just going to spin in place, so if you want to fix that, what you have to do is get an X or switch, Hold on for some, setting my rotation speed down a little bit. But uh, what you want to do is get an XOR switch. And once you have that out, just place it and attach your accelerate and uh, backwards or reverse button, whatever. Attach those to the XOR switch. And then get an AND switch. And with the AND switch, put the um, output of the XOR switch. Attach that to one of the inputs of the AND switch, and then you take the um, take the analog stick, the left analog stick output, and put it in the other input of the AND, and then attach the AND uh, output to the input of the rotator. And if you watch the video, it won't rotate when I'm turning my guy. It will only rotate when I'm going forward and backwards. So then if you just want to hook up the lights when you reverse, just take your reverse button and hook it up to the lights. And that part's easy, obviously. But um, your lights aren't black when there's no reverse. So I set the off, I set the brightness when it's off to 30%. And same with the other one here. And then just so there's a difference, I change the brightness to when it's on to 100% on both of them there. Uh, I don't think my, my camera doesn't sh show it very well, but it lights up brighter. So, um, yeah. That was my basic top-down car logic tutorial.